Tech Tips. Wow. This is a quick overview of how to set up a project. For details on the specific steps, see my other videos. So once you have TriStation 1131 open, File, New Project, select your platform, and then you can save to the standard uh, default location, or you can save to a specific spot. You can create a project folder if you choose. Otherwise, it will save the PT2X file as well as the audit file in your specified location. So just to make it cleaner, I'm going to set up a new project. Click Save. Select your main processor and the version number of your hardware. And you can get that from the hardware that you ordered. You'll have to check on that. And you can see it's copying the libraries to our project. As you can see, both of the application panes opened up automatically. And we are, by default, in a download all state. So the first thing I'd like to do is start with my project options. Go to project, project options. Um, go to annotations, annotations on by default, monitor value on by default. And I like to specify the macros or text that will be in my annotation here. You can do that for tag names, and locals. You can set your monitor colors and uh, check whether or not you want comments to pop up. I usually disable these for programming and re-enable them when the file is ready to use. Click OK. Then I can go to Edit Project Macros. I can program specific macros I'd like to use, and then go back to Project, Project Options, Annotations, and set them there. Then I can start by either adding tag names or adding programs. Let's start by right-clicking uh, User Documents, New Documents, Program, Function Block, say OK. And then I might add a new tag name. And then I can start programming. What I also need to take in mind is the controller tab at the bottom. Double click on configuration. I'm going to turn the bottom pane off so I can see better. Select my operating parameters. Select how I'm going to be communicating with the controller and the node number. Allocate the amount of memory that I'd like to spend on each type of point. And input my hardware allocation. So right now I only have the main chassis, and you can see that it's empty. We'll go over how to add that later. Save that make some additional tag names, insert some function blocks, and you're off to programming. Don't forget to compile, build, and then once you're done with your uh, program, make sure an application that your program is actually in the implementation list, otherwise you won't be able to emulate it. Once you have all of that set up, you can close out your programs Click on the controller tab, emulator, double click, and then connect to the emulator. Through the emulator, you'll be able to emulate your program and see it actually um, work live. You can also do this on the controller if you are connecting directly to the hardware. The correct way to close a project is to hit the File Close Project button. It's not a good idea just to hit the X in the corner. And that is basically the overall view of how to do a project. Be sure to check out the other videos to see how to do each step. Tech Tips. <laughs>